Hello, here's a quick tutorial for how to install my structure generator pack and modules for it. First step is of course to pick your world. I recommend, especially if you're testing it, to make your own new world and you need to have cheats enabled. So, create a new world and then once such world is created or selected, you are going to want to open the world's folder. The easiest way to do this is to hit edit and open world folder. Once this folder is open, you can then grab the version of the pack that you have downloaded and the modules you have downloaded and simply drag and drop them into or copy and paste, whichever works for you, into that data pack folder in your world's folder. That is all you have to do to install the modules. Uh, make sure the modules are alphabetically after the base pack. Uh, for this tutorial, I have the debug and megamix modules installed. Once those are there, you can go back to your game, open your world back up, and basically the pack is installed. The last step you really have to do is hit reload, give it a second, and follow the on-screen instructions, such as being able to protect chunks around you. Uh, there's, there's no real good way to know exactly which chunks you have protected, aside from this ring, which will fade away after a little while. Uh, yeah, th this is if you have an existing world or a spawn location you do not want structures spawning in, uh, that protects them up. Next thing you could do, if you want, is you can, uh, well actually, don't forget to, uh, <laughs> disable the protection once you're done. Uh, you can configure the spawning amounts. The default's pretty good. If you want less, you can, you know, you know, knock that down one or two little pegs for that, or maybe you don't want any in the nether, just bam, negative a hundred. <laughs> just get rid of them all. Uh, it goes up to, you know, 999. Um, but I don't really recommend setting it that high. Honestly, even above 20 is a bit much. Uh, the, the amount of structures accelerates very quickly, so I will set this very high for example reasons. And yeah, really all that's left is just to hit start and um, uh, give it a second to generate your first few structures. Now you see I have the debug uh, installed, so we are getting some things in the sky. Oh, a beautiful, beautiful giant flying island over here. And, uh, yeah, really, I mean, the pack's installed, it'll generate. Um, you don't need to be in creative mode, you don't even need to be in creative mode to, uh, start the generator, you just need to be, uh, having commands enabled, cheats enabled, whatever you want to call it. As you can tell, though, I have the spawn rates set up very high, um, and, uh, yeah, so a nice thing if, you know, you don't like the spawn rates, or, you know, if they're too low, too high, uh, even if you restart the world, you can always hit reload, and uh, it'll give you this starting message again, and you can set that back. There's a reset, reset to default button. Everything is easy and good, and you can even install more modules in afterward and um, then just hit reload and they should be loaded in the same as any other pack if you do have any glitches like for instance there's something I have yet to figure out what happens with where if you set the spawn rates up insanely high uh, and then lower them again sometimes the spawning gets like like, it just stops spawning. Don't know why that happens. Can't really explain a thing. Uh, one day I'll fix that, but if you don't do this, where you bring the game to a chugging mess trying to spawn hundreds of structures in, you shouldn't have that problem. <laughs> so let's uh, reset that to default to see if it happens. Um, yeah, so, yep, that, that's really all you have to do.
Uh, one thing I will recommend is to maybe disable flying islands, the, 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 the sky biome specifically, because in this version of the game, 1.15, probably 1.16, it does get a little crusty where it will like freeze up uh, every time the, I guess the lighting updates happen, so that is a little bit of a problem that I don't know why it happens, but I can't do anything about, so if you don't like those, just disable those. It does not happen in the end. Like, you, you don't get that problem in the end. Let's just make sure structures are spawning, because that glitch might have happened. No, no, okay. Glitch isn't... <laughs> glitch doesn't always happen, so don't worry yourself. <laughs> just doing that won't destroy your world. Again, just hitting reload should fix it. Uh, oh, and of course, you know, you can you can always get that um, scoreboard away. But, uh, yeah, that's everything. Honestly, that's more than I probably needed to explain. It's, it's a simple drag-and-drop installation, some on-screen prompts, and you're good to go. And, and you get, once that's done, you get cool, amazing things like this tower on top of a hill. Dear goodness, download this pack. You're gonna love it.